at some point, um, while you're still with Fresno State, the the whole um, team really sort of ends up in a disaster. Mike Wallace does a piece on 60 Minutes. Yeah. You, a kid from Fall River, get to talk to Mike Wallace, but it's not a good piece, and it's now... I mean, well, the things they're saying about your team have to be really discouraging. Well, I mean, it, you know, they wouldn't be there if we weren't doing it. You know, so it was... Uh, I actually took it as a... Uh, it was scary, the fact that 60 Minutes was on campus. But I actually sat down with Mike Wallace and just took it as an opportunity to meet Mike Wallace and kind of ask questions. And he was actually a pretty good guy. Mm -hmm. You know, he sat with me for about an hour um, and, and answered every question I had for him. And, and uh, you know, they did their piece, but their piece, listen, I don't even know what their piece was. But I know that they wouldn't be there if we weren't doing it. Mm -hmm. So. But your team at that point is called Basketball's Heart of Darkness, and uh -huh. you've got players with samurai swords and yeah. God knows what else. I mean, this is, this is just college basketball at its worst at that point, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you, get, if you, can, you can say that. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you could. I mean, samurai swords, I, you know, it, that got blown a little bit out of proportion. You know? <laughs> it tends to. Yeah, that, you know, there was, there was a lot of people. You know, when, you, when I look back at my days in Fresno, you know, Adrian Wojnarowski is now the head guy at Yahoo Sports. Andy Katz is now the head guy, one of the head guys at ESPN. Mm -hmm. Risha Candidate is the, the woman on first and ten. Um, Mike Hill is an anchor for ESPN. All these people, they, we, we helped uh, <laughs> make their career. Catapult their career. <laughs> there was plenty of stuff to cover, and they covered it, and they did it well, and they, you know, they liked the details, and, and sometimes they put a little more into it, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, now, it said, the piece that said about you at Fresno State, it said, part Montgomery Cliff, part Jerry West, no individual player has ever seized the imagination of the city of Fresno like Chris Heron. He's got NBA talent, Hollywood glitter, and a blue-collar game that local fans fully understand. Pretty heady stuff again. I mean, you're, yeah. you're a big man on campus there as well. Well, you know something? I, I, I would say the last part would probably sum it up you, with the, um, you know, a, a blue-collar game that the Fresno fans really felt. The Hollywood glitter, I, I, I don't know about that. The Fresno fans were amazingly supportive of me, and I hope that comes across in the book, how appreciative I am of what they did for me. You know, I mean, let's, you know, to, to keep it, you know, 100% honest, I mean, I was part of a federal um, investigation, grand juries, 60 Minutes, Rolling Stone. There was a lot of ups and downs. Um, you know, I was, I was involved in a couple of incidences off campus where police were involved. So, you know, these people could have wrote me off a long time ago, mm -hmm. but, but they, they embraced me and, uh, and took me on as one of their own in a lot of ways, most of them. Mm -hmm. So for that, I'm always grateful, you know. And throughout all this time then in college, though, it's basketball and drugs and really not a lot of other things. I mean, right? Not a lot of academics, not a lot of anything there else. There wasn't much time for studying, yeah. <laughs> no, there was not. And, and honestly, and one thing I say to, again, and I keep referring back to the kids, the one thing I say that I have the most regret, uh, one of the things is that I, uh, I didn't pay attention in school, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm perfectly capable to, to sit in the classroom and do the work and oh, write sure. papers and, and participate as a college student. I did not do that. I was not a college student. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.